Hey everybody, this is Travis with Titans of CNC, and today we're gonna go ahead and show you how to inspect this part quickly and efficiently using the Mitutoyo Quick Image System. So what do we have here, Mike? So a little bit of an upgrade from the one beside yeah. it, okay? Mm -hmm. Somewhat more of an automated system. Mm -hmm. So one thing it does is very good at focusing. You already got my ear, automated. Automated, automated. I love it. So yeah. semi-automated, mm -hmm. okay? It does a, a bigger field of view. It actually allows you to do it real quickly. So Travis is actually gonna help me here. Awesome. He's gonna put the part up here and we're gonna show oh, a real easy one-click measurement yeah. that will capture a really large field of view. Okay, All Okay. Right. We have a similar layout than we showed yesterday, like the quick launcher. Yeah. Okay, so nice and easy for the operator to understand. Okay. Uh, we hit run, and it asks us to actually run the feature, and it says move over to the corner. So yeah, Travis- right there, take a point on the corner. So some instructions up there to let the operator know what to do. So move over to the corner. We hit okay to confirm that we know where we're gonna go, and then we're gonna actually click on this one point on the corner, and then we let the machine do its work. So it'll actually stitch around mm -hmm. and capture a variety of images, not just a single image where the profile yeah. projector is a single image. And it will actually do automatic edge detection. Which I a lot of people don't know, right? They think they have that only, that, that one field of view, right? This you can really kind of take multiple fields of view and give you the whole part. Up to 12 by yeah, eight I inches. All, I see all that code running right there. Oh, so it's it, like a print. <laughs> it ran the part, yeah. looks like a print. Mm -hmm. Gave me some real good feedback, yeah. right? So a case that we talked about earlier, these are supposed to be 360 thousandths, mm -hmm. but the ones on the other side are actually. Yeah, which again, I like that, right? We have a little NG up there for a no-go kind of thing that immediately, our, you can show our machinists that, or if they're here running it, running, they can see, hey, I gotta kick that. You know, I keep this is actually over. direct feedback to yeah. the operator to make some offsets, yeah. okay? Nice. And then we talked about what happens if it's on its side. Yeah, right? yeah, no, so, for sure, exactly. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, go ahead. Good, all right, we're gonna lay uh, it down. We'll, we'll lay it out so we know the part placement. Same idea, run that program. We're gonna actually, it will shrink the image to the field of view, okay? Then we will actually take the point just like we did before. So. The messaging to the operator to uh, where it's going to take the actual point, it's on the corner again. Real simple. If we had fixturing, we just wouldn't even have to do this. Mm -hmm. It would know where to go. Okay? So we're going to put it on the corner again. We're going to move over to the stage. This is the corner. I click. And this is a larger part. So it's gonna actually take 16 images across the thing. So the field of view is about one and a half by one and a half inches. So we got a lot of area and place yeah. to go. Well, I can see we use and a little bit different type of lighting. the entire right? thing over here, right? So now we have top light, so we can look at the hex. So we, we don't have some things that the comparator has shadow, we have top too. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more advanced, a little bit more intuitive for the operator as well. And you can see there's, these are five meg images per image area, yeah. so quite a big file. Now it goes through, it automatically detects the location, the rotation, and runs automatic edge detection on about 40 features uh, wow. in about 20 seconds. I like that. And it really gives the operator some great feedback. Well, and some freedom, right? I mean, we can, have, we can have the operator come in here, right? Have a simple set of instructions, follow the picture. Right? That's correct. Put it up there, and there you get your results. You're right, yeah. real simple, easy. We wanna keep it easy, but we wanna keep it very automated. They didn't yeah. have to do a lot of extra work moving exactly. things around. Yeah, you don't okay. necessarily have to bother your inspector or something like that. You keep them free Absolutely. and stuff like that and get immediate yep. feedback. So a bit oh. of an upgrade, but a bit of automation sure. and the future. All right, so that wraps up our demonstration of the Mitch Toyo Quick Image System. We hope that you've gotten a taste of what you can do with this machine. As you can see, we pulled a whole bunch of features in only a fraction of the amount of time it would have taken using conventional methods. So don't forget, if you want to see more content, go ahead and subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next video.